So the MK Ultra program has been busy. This is a map of hits to mindcontrol.se, a small site for mind control victims and people who think their mental illness is not a mental illness, it's actually a mind control. We're going to talk today about enslaving the galaxy and the planet with mind control and uh, shielding for that program. If you look at this egg that's been cracked open in a pan, uh, you'll see there's a big orange ball in the middle. If you look at our sun, you'll see there's also a big orange ball in the middle. This orange ball in the egg, in the single cell organism, is a nucleus. So what does that do? Nuclear fusion, that's what that does. What does our sun do? Nuclear fusion. There is ions in the air. There's negative and positive ions floating around everywhere in the air and even in space that scientists really haven't explained what they do, why they're there, who put them there, etc. These ions conduct electricity. These ions are inside the body, inside space, everywhere. The sun is surrounded by an egg white. It's kind of see-through. If you were so tiny, you probably couldn't even see it. It definitely conducts electricity. There's probably ions in there. It's how the nucleus makes life uh, as it see fits, sort of shapes itself, puts people wherever it wants, uh, animals wherever it wants, whatever. If you look at these nine planets, they kind of look like, uh, if you zoom out a little bit, they kind of look like drops of blood. If you put a little popsicle stick on each one and zoom out a little bit, they all look like drops of blood. So I took the temperature of the of the sun, 10,500, and I divided it by the size of the galaxy, 998,000 light years. That's 101 degrees Fahrenheit per square light year. So I took all these planets and I set them to one ninth of 100% opacity in Photoshop. And I set them all to 13% opacity and stacked them on top of each other. And what they look like is a dark brown color, sort of like a Californian uh, with a dark tan or like an Asian person. So there's a lot more proof here uh, that God exists and, you know, the, the asteroid belt is the cell wall. An article last year said the average color of the universe is a beige or pink color. So the point of this video is scions. We're all connected to the ionosphere, possibly. This word scions, it means explaining the psychic phenomenon. If you look at the word, the Latin breakdown is psi and ions. It makes sense. Psi is like a psychic and ions is like the ions in the air. At this picture of a bisected brain, you'll notice the eye of Horus is right in the middle of this brain bisected. So this was a brain that was chopped in half and you'll notice right in the middle is a eye of Horus. So how did the ancient Egyptians know this? So you can look down in the lower left, there's a close-up of the picture. In the right is the logo of the eye of Horus. You'll see the big circle in the middle of the eye of Horus. How much do you want to bet that's a single sun, a single star? I bet you that's the third eye, and what it does is control the other cells of your body. So to control all those people's minds, all you have to do possibly is control one single sun and victory. Uh, the theory is controlling all of this is as simple as controlling a single cell organism, uh, something so small, something like an amoeba. So someone has figured this out. Someone put a, a amoeba in a petri dish and figured out how to control the nucleus of the cell or everything in it and then went and duplicated that technology and enslaved the world. So this is our current situation. There's about 100 million people complaining of mind control daily. So it could be either an ion weapon or it could be an alien with a large ass third eye with a mind bigger than yours and cells bigger than yours and nucleus bigger than yours and he is controlling everyone.
so the air is filled with electrically charged ions. We need to figure our shielding method for that. Uh, the electricity moves faster than light. It's going to be difficult. Uh, maybe things like a Tesla coil in your room. Maybe a Faraday cage, grounded wires hanging from the ceiling, uh, multiple electrical currents running, little motors and things hanging above your head. There's an interesting story about Egypt. Uh, the white people showed up to Egypt that many thousands of years ago. And in front of this temple, there was two poles with a copper uh, columns on top of the poles. The white people saw it and thought it was a mind control machine, so they ripped it down immediately. Uh, but really it was just like a, possibly uh, two electrical conductors uh, allowing God or the sun to alter the current of the ions uh, right in front of the temple. So uh, Something like that might work. Two electrical conductors to over the top of the head. Uh, maybe one grounded, maybe one with a live little battery, 9 volt or something, who knows. Uh, the other possibility is uh, things like steel wool works really good, rubber blocks electricity, maybe a Tesla coil in your room or something. Uh, you guys let me know how you how to stop an ion stream of electricity because it's faster than light and I have no idea. So let me know. I'll try it. I'll post the results. The other possibility is it's psychic aliens. Since we're all connected to the ionosphere, it's totally possible that it's a psychic alien. Uh, uh, especially a creature with a larger brain than yours, larger nucleus, larger third eye. Uh, even if he was smaller, all he would have to do is, uh, like in The Wizard of Oz, the ant, he stands behind a projector. That makes him seem 30 feet tall. And then our brains instantly would click to beta male to his or something, you know? So when dealing with that, we have to consider other things for shielding. We have to consider... Uh, optical illusions, camouflage. So painting the walls with like white and black uh, confusion technique patterns might do something. Maybe mannequins in the room covered with fishnet. Something the Romans already tried was copper helmets and copper breastplates. Definitely try it. The reason for that is the vargus nerve runs all the way from the ear to the butt. If the aliens figured out how to control a mind, and uh, the easiest way is with a third eye or a sun, because uh, that's all the mind does is control other cells, uh, any point of the vargus nerve would be very, uh, vulnerable. So another TI found this vargus nerve and made a video. I'll link you to it in the annotations. One person has to wonder whether Jesus went into this cave. You know, allegedly he went into the cave for four years and came out four years later. And, you know, was it for EMF protection? Was it for infrared psychic alien protection? Or when he came back out, he allegedly wore this crown of thorns. So why would you wear a crown of thorns? Well, if there was a an alien watching you and he was psychic as fuck and you didn't want him to touch your your forehead you could put on a bunch of thorns and maybe nobody would touch you. Uh, the Nazis tried something similar they have this helmet with a huge pike on top you know it's very sharp and uh, people don't want to touch that with their eyes it feels like dangerous you know so uh, there's some off-the-wall, you know, techniques that could be possibly used here, like putting a bunch of camouflage and chain-link fence on your ceiling walls and everything, or rubber to block any, you know, electrical signals, chain-link to stop uh, psychic eyes, and uh, who knows what else. You guys tell me, how do we block a ion stream? And uh, that's my theory. Good luck. Thank you for watching. And I will try to do a follow-up video. I've got some more stuff for TIs. Uh, really good stuff. And thank you so much. Good luck.